I'm just going to say this before we even get started. Thank you, Microsoft. Thank you, Xbox. Thank you, Bill Spencer. So Microsoft is buying Activision Blizzard. Thank God. Um, but before we get into this, uh, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and I really do appreciate you. Um, but now let's get into this. Uh, so it looks like for $70 billion, Microsoft will be acquiring Activision Blizzard as well as all the other studios that they have. So that means Activision, Blizzard, and uh, King. So that gives them access to Overwatch, Diablo, Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, um, Starcraft, Candy Crush. I mean, list list goes on. Like Activision got a lot of property that they that they've made over the years, and Microsoft is getting all of it for seventy billion dollars. Wall Street actually broke this down to about ninety five dollars a share is what they're buying it for. Um, so I'm going to read a little bit here to kind of give you an insight on what is actually going on. Um, my article comes from Kotaku, and here's what it says. In an extraordinary turn of events, Microsoft is getting near to a deal to buy Activision Blizzard, the Wall Street Journal reported today. This would not only be one of the most major shakeups in the gaming industry in years, but could also finally signal the end for the horrendous CEO, Bobby Kotick. Activision has been going through a tumultuous time after widespread issues of sexual harassment and trauma were revealed within the enormous company. Sued by the state of California following enormous exposure of the workplace culture, people have been calling for Kotick's resignation and widespread change at the company, with only a battening down of hatches in response from the leadership goodness knows what happens to that now with microsoft's announcement today but they are unfortunately pretending it's not an issue a microsoft statement says i know microsoft ain't gonna get into that microsoft is not gonna get into the uh to all the you know stuff that's been going on at activision the thing that microsoft is trying to do is preserve this company with the stuff that's been going on with this company with kodak and the way he's been running activision and blizzard and all the money he's been stealing with the bonuses and mistreatment of, of devs and people leaving and boycotting the company behind his leadership microsoft is not going to get into that microsoft is worried about preserving the history of the games that this company has put out over the years um so i'm glad microsoft stepped in and said look buy them buy them right now while they're in while they're in trouble they did mention though later on because this was earlier so later on they mentioned what will happen um to kodak and this is what they're uh what they're saying bobby kodak will remain chief executive of activision blizzard while microsoft closes its deal to acquire the embattled publisher of Call of Duty, World of Warcraft, and Overwatch. When the 68.7 billion, 68.7 billion dollars. Come on, Microsoft. When the 68.7 billion deal is finalized in 2023, the Activision Blizzard business will report to Microsoft Gaming CEO Phil Spencer, Microsoft said. But it remains unclear what Kodak's position at Activision Blizzard, if he still has one, will be after the proposed buyout is completed. The companies say only that Kodak will remain CEO through Microsoft's 2023 physical year, which means June 30th, 2023. Kodak told the New York Times that he will be available as needed after the closing. A new Wall Street Journal report Tuesday, citing sources familiar with the deal, says that the companies have agreed that Kodak will leave once the deal closes. If he's no longer with Activision afterward, his 
his employment contract calls for him to receive a severance package worth nearly 293 million dollars man see this is what we talking about this is what we talking about there is no way he should be getting two 293 million dollars and he's losing his job he hasn't done nothing for activision to actually be rewarded this type of stuff so um no i don't i don't agree with this should he lose his job to a corporate takeover according to financial documents reach for reach for comment a microsoft representative told polygon that given the extended close time the company has nothing more to add instead pointing to spencer's initial statement announcing the deal so they didn't want to really get into full detail what's going on with uh what's going to go on with mr kotick once uh they buy this company which i i already know they're kicking him out the door with the way he's been running that company he's out of here he is out of here but the problem that we got is that he's still getting money the biggest issue is that he's been stealing money and he's still gonna get money because in a contract clause if a takeover happened he still is gonna be rewarded 293 million dollars I hope that if that happens, they turn around and class action sue the shit out of him for it. That is crazy that he still get money with the way he ran this company and treated these people. He can still walk away from this thing unscathed, so to speak. That is stupid, man. That is so stupid. This shows how much of a crook he is and how much he care about the gaming business, which is none. He cares nothing about the gaming industry. But now, what does that say for Microsoft? going forward with the games that they will be acquiring off the rip i don't think they're gonna make call of duty exclusive that would be a very dumb move on microsoft's part and they would lose out on a lot of money that can be made just off of call of duty alone i mean acquiring it and being able to make money off of it now can they do things um, to make Xbox stand out a little bit more for having them? Yes. Yes. You can do some exclusive stuff with the game, but to completely take it off of the other platforms, I mean, yes, PC would still get it, and yes, Xbox would get it, but you're going to, you're not, I don't think Microsoft is going to leave all that PlayStation money on the shelf um, to make Call of Duty exclusive. Now, if there is any other projects that Activision has been working on that we don't know about that are like new IPs or little small time stuff, which I really doubt that that's what they've been doing. They've been milking, milking, the, milking the industry dry with Call of Duties and uh, World of Warcraft for a while. They're not they're not really working on nothing new that we know of. But if there is something in the back end that Microsoft could take and say, hey, let's push to the forefront as an exclusive, they could do that. But I don't think Microsoft is really in the business of exclusives anymore more so than building the library on of game pass they've already mentioned that they are putting a lot of these titles on game pass the minute that they acquire it now granted they're still a year out um so who knows what can happen between now and 2023 if they actually get to buy this company um but if they do then yeah they're gonna they're gonna really build up the game pass library um, with the acquisition of, uh, of this company. But um, do I think they're going to go exclusive with it? No. Now, I didn't think they were going to go exclusive with Bethesda games either, but they did come out and finally do so. But then let's, let's be real. Um, Bethesda is designed. The company is designed for you to make things exclusive. They, they specialize in single-player games more than anything. It's designed for you to go exclusive. Uh, for with Bethesda, but it's n Activision ain't designed behind exclusives, um, exclusive content maybe, but not just an exclusive game in in, in complete in completion. There's there's no reason for that. So um, I'm really happy that that they got them though. I'm really happy that they got them um, because Activision it holds a you know a near and dear place in my heart with the games that i played from them and to see where this idiot took the company i'm so glad microsoft stepped in and said get him out of the gaming industry listen if microsoft has to be judge and jury for the gaming industry 
to remain intact, Microsoft, buy as many companies as you need. Buy as many companies that have lost sight of what it is that really moves the gaming community. On that note, keep it cool. I'm out.